everybody, welcome to another video. Hope you're ready to flex those brain muscles because today we're gonna solve some more quadratic equations, this time using the quadratic formula. So this is a cool little formula we can use to solve any quadratic equation. As long as we know A, B, and C, we can plug them in and we can get our solutions for X. That's how it works. So a good time to use this is usually when you've tried to factor and you can't figure out a way to factor it, then you can go to quadratic formula. But for me personally, I always try to factor first. But what if we have an example like this? I'm gonna to try to factor this. I'm looking for two numbers that multiply together to be two and add together to be four. I can't find those numbers. I got two and one, but that gives me three. I can't quite get to that four, so this is when I'm gonna use my quadratic uh, formula. This is a good candidate, a good time to use the quadratic formula. So the first thing I do, especially when we're still learning this, we wanna write out what A, B, and C are, just so we're consistent, just so we don't forget. It's a good thing to do, especially when you're still learning this. So in this case, my A is this leading coefficient out here, that's one. My B is just the, the coefficient in front of the X, that's four. My C is this constant, that's two. So now I have A, B, and C, so now I can just plug A, B, and C into my quadratic formula. X equals negative B, that's negative four, plus or minus square root of what? B squared, that's four squared, that's 16 minus four times a, which is one, times c, which is two, and I know I didn't need to write that one, but I did, because we're just learning it, I'm writing out every step. Two a on the bottom, that's two times one. So now these are technically my answers, but you always wanna simplify as much as you can, so that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna simplify everything under this radical, that's gonna be my next step. So everything under that square root, I'm gonna simplify. x equals negative four plus or minus Square root of what is this? 16 minus 4 times 1 times 2. That's 16 minus 8, which is 8. So I'm left with 8 under the root. And what am I left with on the bottom? 2 times 1, that's 2. Okay, so you may be tempted to cancel the 2 into this negative 4. Be real, real careful at this step. This is when I see so many algebra mistakes happen. Remember, I can't cancel this 2 unless I can cancel it into both these top terms, right? I cannot just do two into four, boom, done, right? It has, to, it has to cancel with both of these top terms. So that's why you always, when you have a radical like this, you always wanna simplify whatever radicals you have as much as you can. And you will get radicals a lot. You'll be left with radicals, especially when you're using the quadratic formula. You'll be left with them a lot, so it's good to know how to simplify those. I have a video up here if you wanna practice. But I'm gonna simplify this radical and we're gonna see if we can cancel after I simplify it. So. I'll do a little side work here, a little work off to the side. What is root eight equal? That is root four times two. I could bring out the four and it comes out as a two, right? Square root of four is two. So I'm left with two times root two. So now I can use that to rewrite this, plus or minus two root two all over two. Now I can do the proper algebra. Now this two cancels into both these top terms. And I have negative 4 over 2, that's negative 2. And I have 2 root 2 over 2, that's just root 2. So these are my two solutions for x. My one solution is negative 2 plus root 2. And my second solution is negative 2 minus root 2. So this is usually a good, you can leave your answer like this. All right, for our next example, and again, you could try to factor this using like the AC or X method or guess and check or something, you're not gonna be able to. So we're gonna go ahead and go straight into quadratic formula. So I'm gonna write out our A, B, and C. A equals four, B equals three, C equals negative two. And I'm gonna plug A, B, and C into our quadratic formula so we can solve for X. So negative B, that's negative three, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that's nine, minus four times a, that's four, times c, that's negative two, all over two a, which is what? Two a, that's two times four, that's eight. So I'm gonna simplify what's under the root. I always seem to do that, that's the first thing I usually do. So this equals negative three plus or minus how can I simplify this root? Let's see, I have four times four is 16, times negative two, that's negative 32. So what I have is nine minus negative 32. Be careful with the algebra here, all over eight. 
So 9 minus negative 32, that's 9 plus 32, right? So I have, what do I have? Negative 3 plus or minus square root of 9 plus 32, that's 41 all over 8. And you could try to simplify this radical, you won't be able to, so this is actually as simple as our answer gets. So it's okay if it doesn't look that pretty at the end, as long as you simplify as much as you can. So yeah, as you can see, it's the same process, every problem. Identify what A, B, and C are, plug them into the quadratic formula, and try to make no algebra mistakes, right? Be real careful, go step by step, and uh, yeah, get a bunch of practice in. Check out my other videos if you need more help. Hope you enjoyed. Hit like, hit subscribe, keep flexing your brain muscles, keep making those brain gains.